first race by the dreamer, the reverie deep in the heart, the vision of grace for the asking, the world where each one does their part, in his dreams he's always a sailor, blown by the winds and from the land, a wistful old piece about uh, missing home. We're going to do two reels after that, also so old that nobody can remember who wrote them anymore. They're traditional pieces. Uh, one's called The Flowers of Edinburgh. The second one is called The Flowers of Michigan. That's right. Hang on to your hats. Just so you don't think I'm making this up.
Come all your sons and daughters, come listen to my theme. Come all your roving lumberjacks that run the Saginaw stream. We'll cross the Titabawasi where the mighty waters flow. We'll roam the wild woods over and once more we'll lumber and go. Now here's that lumberjack chorus I was warning you about. It's pretty easy to sing and it's pretty fun too, but you don't have to take my word for it. You can sing it just like the lumberjacks did around the campfire back in the Saginaw Valley about 150 years ago, and it goes like this. Once more a lumber and go, we'll roam the wild woods over and once more a lumber and go. You'll get another chance. When the white frost hits the valley and the snow conceals the wood, the lumberjack has enough to do to find his family food. No time he'll have for pleasure, not to hunt the buck and doe. He'll roam the wild woods over and once more a lumber and go. Once more a lumber and go. He'll roam the wild woods over and once more a lumber and go. Our cross cut saws and axes, all the woods they will resound. And many a tall and stately tree will come crashing to the ground. With our axes to our shoulders and our boot tops deep in snow, we'll roam the wild woods over and once more a lumber and go. Once more a lumber and go. We'll roam the wild woods over and once more a lumber and go. When navigation opens and the rivers run so free, we'll take our logs to Saginaw and our sweethearts there we'll see. They'll all be out to greet us, our hearts in rapture will flow. We'll stay with them through summer and once more love them go, once more love them go. We'll run the wild woods over and once more love them go. Now you may talk about your houses, your farms and fine ways. And pity us poor shanty boys are struggling in our stays. But around the good campfire at night, we'll sing while the wild winds blow. We'll roam the wild roads over and once more along we go. Once more along we go. We'll roam the wild woods over and once more along we go. When our youthful days are over and our beards are getting long, we'll take of each of us a wife and we'll settle on the farm. We'll have enough to eat and drink, contented we will go. We'll tell our wives of our hard lives and no more a lumber and go, no more a lumber and go. We'll tell our wives of our hard lives and no more a lumber and go.
There we go. Sound good. Thanks. Now, old Perry Allen of Shepherd was a clever teller of tall tales, as well as a master entertainer with song and dance. Old Perry liked to tell the story of how Michigan got its thumb. As I recall the tale, which I must have heard a hundred times, he told it this way. One winter that I worked for Hannah and Leigh on the Boardman River, Paul Bunyan was our foreman. That spring, Mr. Hannah called Paul to the office and he said to him, Paul, we've run out of timber hereabouts. This arbutus crew is a good crew, but we have no logs. I hear there's good pine, good white pine over on the Huron Slope. If you could locate some good tracks of pine, I could give the men some work and make myself some profits at the same time. So pick you out a man, Paul. Go over to the Huron Shore, lay out some good lots of white pine. Paul picked little me to go with him. We made a great team, big him and little me. We'd been timber looking for a week when we ran out of grub. One afternoon about three o'clock as we were sloshing through the swamp, Paul stopped short. He roared, Perry, we need some meat. Let's go fishing and catch a sturgeon. Good idea, I answered, but what will we use for tackle? Look up on that treetop, said Paul. See that cable? Well, that's what made me think of it. Well, I looked up in that treetop, and sure enough, there was a long length of steel cable about an inch in diameter. Don't ask me how it got there. It was just there is all I know. We use that for a line, said Paul. What about a hook? Remember that swamp hook we saw back there about a mile? Questioned Paul. Go get that while I pull this cable out of the tree. As I started back, Paul yelled, and we need bait. Get us one of them pigs back there. Well, I waded through the swamp till I found the hook. I picked it up and brought it back to where the pigs were. You know, them shoats were...